Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. A little bit tired today. Good day. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, let's talk about you know. Let's talk about the meat and potatoes. But before we do, uh, again, thank you very much, guys, for spending uh, a couple of minutes of your day with us. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, uh, all we do is ask you if you like the content. Uh, if it gives you value, just like, subscribe, share, and we'll take care of the rest. So. We talked about it last night, um, you know, a little bit of a euphoric, beyond euphoric uh, type of environment. Uh, you know, we talked about it yesterday with the emojis and diamond hands. And all of a sudden you start, you know, you know, having flashbacks of 2020 and 2021 with AMC uh, and uh, GameStop and all that stuff. And you're talking about the market's never going to go down again. And then slowly but surely, um, as when you don't realize that the market has potential for gravity, you put on the blinders and uh, you hope to say to yourself, well, maybe this is going to be uh, the day that I get one more push, one more push. And we saw it this morning, right? We saw it this morning. Stocks started getting a little bit tired. Uh, PPI came out this morning. Uh, it pretty much reiterated uh, in no uncertain terms, kind of the data that we saw for the CPI yesterday. And everything started looking good in this morning. Everything was gapping up again. And, you know, NVIDIA was good and everything was good. And then NVIDIA had a pretty aggressive drop. Uh, and Microsoft had a pretty aggressive drop. And AMD had a pretty aggressive drop. And you started seeing that through a lot of names. And again, there's no materialistic news. Uh, there's nothing that you can turn around to and point to and say, well, this was the reason uh, these stocks, again, people get tired, stocks get tired. We talked about this, uh, you know, last night on the video, how... You know, we had this miserable decline. Well, it depends who you ask, but we had this really great decline because we had some great phenomenal pivots and downside. And, you know, the question was going into, you know, going into the day before they dropped into the 200-day moving average was, well, what's going to get this market finally going higher? And again, like I said, the market doesn't need uh, any reason to kind of just stop going in that direction and going in that bias. And what we saw was literally the bottom of October the 26th and we rallied. We talked about this last night. We ra rallied 45 points uh, into the queues. And, you know, the market is just getting tired. You can see it. The market's getting tired. Uh, names that were trying to put their opening range highs today, they just couldn't do it, right? They just absolutely couldn't do it. And again, maybe this is a one-day event. Maybe the market just, again, shakes everything off. Little cobwebs, a little bit of dust, a little bit of, uh, you know, potential just to rest a little bit and starts ripping again tomorrow. But, Again, if you look at the majority of names, what they did today, you'll see a kind of theme, right? You'll, you'll see a kind of theme here. Well, let's talk about this, right? Look at AMD, right? You see where it stopped? It stopped in the five day. You see how it keeps on bouncing off the five day, right? Bounce, 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 right? Look at Amazon, right? You see what happened to Amazon today? It held the five day and bounced, right? Look at a name like, for example, like Microsoft. You see what it did today, right? You see how it keeps on bouncing off the orange line, right? Here it came, bounce, 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 bounce. You get the point, right? There's a lot of names, a lot of the big high flyers uh, all came down today and tested the five-day moving average. The last time we did that was on the 9th, which was last week, six days ago. And what happened the next day? Business as usual. The market started ripping again. But the question is, how long can they continue to do so? And this is why the five-day moving average in my opinion, okay, it's such a underutilized tool for a lot of new traders. They don't, you know, know it exists. I know. I think. I think. I believe the majority of traders they use like the nine and the twenty-one, or the you know, or the something like that, right? I use the five, the ten, and the twenty, right? Uh, I don't think a lot of people use the five, but I do. And you can see here, um, you can see our, how it keeps on. You know, Microsoft kept on bouncing off the five day, and it kept on and held the five day today. And the question is going into tomorrow is, well, if the market is tired, and it's, again, it's a big if, it's, you know, it's something just to, to consider, 
And what happens if we lose the five day, right? What happens if we lose the five day moving average? Well, here's, you know, here's a prime example of what happens the last time when Microsoft lost the five day moving average, it started a pretty aggressive cycle. Does it mean that, that, you know, this is the, you know, this is the top, this is the rolling top, this is the blow off top. None of that means anything until price action confirms it, but it's something we have to watch. And again, you look at a name like Amazon, right? You know, Amazon, it, again, it was a perfect scenario. Like look at the last time, you know, look at the last time it was here, it was bouncing off the five day, bouncing off the five day, but look what happened when it finally lost the five day, right? This was on uh, September the 14th, started a really, really nasty decline. So my question is, well, what happens if tomorrow we don't rally? What happens if tomorrow we don't snap back? What happens if tomorrow that the five day doesn't uh, doesn't hold like every single time uh, in the last two, you know, two, two and a half weeks? That's the whole point. That's the whole point of being uh, prepared on both sides. So uh, every day I'm prepared on both sides. But, you know, today is one of those situations that you did see. And, we, you know, we caught a great reversal today on NVIDIA, right? We did see, you know, NVIDIA gassing out. We did see Microsoft and, and, and Amazon and AMD gassing out. Again, it could, again, could this be a one day, you know, one day outlier and we start rallying again tomorrow? It's possible, but I'm all about the what if, right? I'm all about the what if, because again, if, you, if you're not playing devil, devil's advocate, if you're not trading on both sides of the market, then you're hoping, you're, you're praying, you're, uh, you're, 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 you're wishing, okay? That's not trading, that's gambling, right? That's, that's DraftKings, that's FanDuel. That's not, that, you know, that's not, uh, that's not uh, what trading is. And as, as aggressive the move was, and the, the move was fabulous, right? The move was absolutely fabulous in the last two, two and a half weeks. Hey, if they start confirming today's channels, yeah, we're gonna get that big premium day to the downside. So I am definitely watching the downside tomorrow, right? I am absolutely definitely watching the downside tomorrow just because you gotta ask yourself a question, how many times can they hold the five day? Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but at least again, like I say in every video, we don't we have to be prepared for it. Uh, after the close, you have Cisco came out with earnings, not a great price, rea uh, price reaction. Uh, Pan W came out with earnings, not a great price reaction. Q is only down about a dollar. Uh, after the close, everything's down about, you know, about a buck after the close. The one stock that we talked about yesterday that finally got above the 50-day moving average was da 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 was Tesla, right? And this is the first close above the 50-day moving average. And the question for tomorrow is, okay, let's just say there is some weakness at the open and they trap some shorts back testing into the 50-day moving average that they reclaimed today. Is it possible, right? Is it possible that Tesla traps the shorts, goes green today, takes out today's range and starts heading into that 250 level? We did see a lot of call buying today, some pretty good size. We saw uh, 245 weeklies. We saw 250s. We saw 260s for next week. We, we saw some 280s uh, for December. Is it possible that Tesla uh, chose to break out at a wrong day? Very, very possible. But again, like I said, this is why we have to be prepared on both sides of the market. So we definitely have the downside covered tomorrow with some pretty good damn pivots. And again, look in the video, guys. Remember, the video ran up 100, right? This thing was 501, I think. I think it was like 501 pre-market. What was it pre-market? Traded, yeah, trade up to 501.90 pre-market. So, you know, they pulled NVIDIA nearly 20, right? Nearly 20 off the pre-market highs. And I'm telling you, folks, look at, look at, look at this five-day, right? Look at this five-day. See how orderly this thing is? But boy, oh boy, guys, watch the video tomorrow, okay? Watch the video, just like everything else, like AMD and Amazon and Microsoft, the same. But this darling, right? This darling ahead of earnings is up 110 points ahead of earnings in two weeks. If this thing starts losing the five-day moving average, why can't it pull to the 10-day moving average, which would give us roughly a 20-point move, right? It's obviously out there for us. The question is, will it confirm today's channel, right? Just like on Amazon, just like on AMD, and hell, just like on Tesla to the upside. Will they confirm today's channels to be determined? The point is, guys, be ready, right? The point is be ready. Like we talked about yesterday, I, you know, I, like I said in the last night's video, I might be one or two days away uh, from maybe a little early. Well, it wasn't really early, right? Because today the price action started formulating that little gas cycle, a little exhaustion cycle that, I'm, that I was thinking that potentially could happen today. And odd, no, you know, no uh, rocket emojis, no moon emojis today. Very odd. I'm not sure what happened today. But key is be prepared, right? Be prepared, watching the video, right? Watching the video for tomorrow on the five-day confirmation. Watch AMD, watch Microsoft, watch Amazon. Because again, the point is with these beta stocks, it's not like it's one, one of them that goes, right? 
If one goes, they all go. Just the same way they've all been rallying on 50-day moving average, the same way that if they all lose the five-day, we could get very, very aggressive washes uh, to the downside as well. Other than that, guys, business as usual, a great job today. I'm a little bit pressed for time. I have a school event, all these school events, boy. Uh, school event coming up. I got to jump in the shower. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Tomorrow should be interesting. If we do get a uh, shake, you know, if we do get uh, opening range lows and we do confirm the five day, hey, maybe this is finally where we get our very aggressive back test. Guys, God bless. Have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.